hello you're welcome how to solve for x in this exponential equation here let's take this side to this side and here we have x minus 1 all raised to power 6 now minus 5 raised to power 6 equals to 0 from here then we can as well write this as x minus 1 raised to power 3 which is now raised to power 2 because here 2 times 3 will still give us 6 then same thing here minus 5 raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 from here which is equals to 0 then here we have difference of two squares from when we have a square minus b square here the same thing as a plus b then into bracket a minus b then from what we have here x minus 1 raised to power 3 serving as a then 5 raised to power 3 serving as b then this gives us x minus 1 raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 into bracket then also the second bracket this gives us x minus 1 all raised to power 3 then minus 5 raised to power 3 then close bracket which is now equals to 0 from here then here this multiplies and the result is 0 so we have two cases the first is either x minus 1 raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 1 raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 and here for the first case here this also follows from sum of 2 cube when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 here the same thing as a plus b then into bracket open bracket a square minus a b plus b square close bracket that is here x minus one serving as a then five serving as b then what we have here then becomes x minus one plus five then into bracket we have x minus 1 squared then minus x minus 1 times 5 that's same thing as 5 into bracket x minus 1 then plus 5 squared then close bracket which will now be equals to 0 from here then when we solve this further here we have minus 1 plus 5 that's 4 so we have x plus 4 here then into bracket here the expansion of this bracket becomes x square minus 2x plus 1 then from here minus 5 open this bracket this become minus 5x plus 5 then here we have plus 5 squared that's plus 25 close bracket now equals to zero from here then we can also reduce this bracket and this can be written as x plus four then into bracket here we have x square the minus two x minus five x give us minus seven x then we have one plus five or we can say 5 plus 25 that's 30 then plus 1 that's plus 31 then equals to 0 from here then from what we have also here we have two possible cases we have x plus 4 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 7x plus 31 equals to 0 then here we have x 
to be equals to minus 4 on this side. Then also, we solve this quadratic equation from quadratic formula. And here, A is equals to 1, B equals to minus 7, then C equals to 31. And here, using the formula, X will then be equals to minus minus 7 plus or minus square root of minus 7 square then minus 4 times 1 times 31 then divided by 2 times 1 and from here when we solve for that this becomes x equals to minus times minus here become plus so that's 7 plus or minus here we have square root of minus 7 square that's 49 then minus 4 times 1 times 31, we have 124. Then over 2 times 1, that's 2. Then which also can be written as x equals to 7 plus or minus square root of 49 minus 124 give us minus 75. Then over 2. And here we can separate minus 75 here as 25 times 3, then times minus 1. And this becomes x equals to 7 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1, then over 2. And from here, this same thing as x equals to 7 plus or minus root 25 times root 3 times root minus 1 over 2 and here we have x now equals to 7 plus or minus 5 root 3 and root minus 1 here is i then over 2 so here we have two complex solutions from here and also from the second case, which is x minus 1 raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3. And this also follows from difference of 2q. When we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3. And this can be written as a minus b multiplied by a square plus ab plus b squared. That is, yeah, this follows here, and we have x minus 1, then minus 5, then into bracket. Here we have x minus 1 square, then plus 5 times x minus 1, then plus 5 squared, which is equals to zero from here then minus one minus five here minus six so we have x minus six then into bracket expansion here also become x square minus two x then plus one then five open the bracket here we have plus five x then minus five then plus 5 square here, that's 25, close bracket, equals to 0 from here. Now we can bring this together here, and this becomes x minus 6, then into bracket. Here we have x square, then minus 2x plus 5x give us plus 3x. Then we have minus 5 plus 25, that's 20, then plus 1, that's plus 21, close bracket, equals to 0 from here. And also here we have two cases, which are x minus 6 equals to 0, or we have x square plus 3x plus 21 equals to 0 from here. And on this side, we have x equals to 
six and also on this side solving this quadratic equation here a equals to one b equals to three and c equals to 21 and also using the formula here x will now be equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 21 then over 2 times 1 then when we solve from here this becomes x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square here we have 9 then minus 4 times 1 times 21 we have 84 then over 2 here and which also we can write as x equals to minus 3 plus or minus root minus 75 here then over 2 and since we can rewrite root minus 75 here as root 25 times 3 times root minus 1 so here become x equals to minus 3 plus or minus 5 root 3 i then over 2 so here also we have two other complex solutions from here that is all together now we have since we have also x equals to minus 3 plus or minus 5 root 3 i over 2 which is other two complex solutions so we have two real solutions and four complex solutions so we can write it out here and say x1 equals to minus 4 which is a resolution let's write x2 the second resolution as x equals to 6 and the third solution x3 from here you can write 7 plus 5 root 3 high over 2 and also from here as well x4 this becomes 7 minus 5 root 3 high over 2 and the fifth solution from here we have x5 this becomes minus 3 plus 5 root 3 high then over 2 then the sixth solution from here also we have x6 equals to minus 3 minus 5 root 3 high over 2 so this year we have the solutions to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and put your comments in the comment section thank you see you next class and bye for now